that's just a callus. That's you're it? You're you being baby. a baby. You're being yes, a baby. Yes, Dr. Bradley. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. God be with us. I don't, I, I don't know where this is about to go. First of all, the good news here is Dr. Brad is here. Dr. Bradley Schaefer, of course, you've seen him on My Feet Are Killing Me on TLC. How many seasons are we up to now? Four seasons. Uh, his wow. microphone is not working. Microphone not working. Microphone not working. We have a foot doctor. We need a microphone doctor. How about that? How about that? <laughs> No, nope. scary. Nope. Oh my God! All right, time's scary. up. You Thanks for coming job. in. I'm on scary. Oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. There we go. There we go. Turn him up. All right, get close to that mic. You can hey do guys, it. how you hey. doing? So, how many seasons, Doctor Brad? Is, yeah. uh, my feet are killing me. Been on TLC. Sure. So my feet are killing me. Four seasons, and we did a COVID season. So let's call that a half season. Four there you and a half. Go. Yeah, right. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so you have two patients already in the room. Dr. Uh, Bradley has been with Gandhi. Thank you. I yes. love you for that. And what did he do for you? He removed the sea urchin barbs from my foot when I stepped on them on vacation. Right. Just last week. Just yeah. last week. Yeah. And also uh, patient number two, Uncle Johnny. Yeah. Probably, probably my favorite patient. Something. I had no idea what I had. Everything was, I have horrible feet. You really do. <laughs> I told him that. I said, how could you look at feet? And it's so ugly. <laughs> But he just said something very complimentary to yeah. you, and you missed it. He said you're probably one of his favorite patients yeah. of all time. Oh, yep. I I love going there because he's he's fabulous. Yeah, he really is. You're fabulous. <laughs> yeah, I love I talk. love Uncle Johnny. He's he's one of my best patients. So Aww. anytime he walks into the office, it's a pleasure. Aww. There you go. He lights it up. So That's nice. So look, you know, doing what you do so well. I mean, it goes way beyond the the TV show. You have a practice that you're here, and you're. Here Philly too? If I'm, did I oh, that? I grew up outside of Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia has my heart. So, uh, but no, I work in New York City now, okay. 85th and Central Park West. The there office is, oh, that's is nice. incredible. Yeah, it's it was, oh, thank so you. Nice. Beautiful. Thank office. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's called the high rent district. He's charging yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soul podiatry. Check it out. I know. <laughs> you know what? When people have two feet, that's twice the opportunity to <laughs> cash in. Yeah. Well, it's more than everyone that. needs some help. You're helping people out for sure. Now, uh, the problem with the, the challenge with having you here, Dr. Brad. The first thing is that let's talk about the show, let's talk about the foot care, whatever. Uh, oh, Nate, I can't wait to take my shoes and socks off and show him the bunion. Oh, I'm God, like, man. And so rather than going up to Dr. Brad to shake his yeah. hand, he pulls his foot out and puts it up. I know. Said, shake your foot. Oh. I don't know if it's a bunion or a callus. That's why I, I'm excited uh -huh. to have And he said he would do it. I just want to point that out. That's okay. I, I got you. You know, sometimes ever... sometimes when you're at a bar, someone will throw their foot up. It's like, man, it's just not oh, the time. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that crazy. was my next question. You, you had... could buy me a beer for it first. <laughs> yeah. has, anyone, has anyone ever approached you in a restaurant while you're eating? Oh, I've I've gotten my uh, feet out everywhere. So, really? yeah, it's, oh. it's, sometimes it's super awkward, but it is what it is. Do you it comes you, with the territory. Have you ever said... Not now's not really the time. Or have you, are you always like okay? I'm usually a pretty pretty good sport about it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I know, but the people sure. that own the restaurant are not appreciating <laughs> it yeah, right, at all. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so let me ask you this: Why are there people like me? And I know I represent a lot of people who are just kind of disgusted by feet. Why? It, it, and I've never had stinky feet. I've never had little things on my feet. It's just, sure. I just don't like feet. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that find them gross, but there's a lot of people out there that find them sexy too. I mean, there's I think there's an app or a site right now that literally is just about foot fetish, and people are making oh, millions of dollars many. off of it. Yep. It's crazy. So you could have chosen I've never so even many, seen it. so many different. <laughs> you, you, you've invented it, probably, <laughs> yeah. Doctor yeah, Brad. There's so hustle. many different disciplines as far as medical uh, medical profession goes. You decided podiatry. What was it? Did something happen as a kid with feet or something? What was it that made you decide to go that direction? Yeah, good question. I mean, I think podiatry is one of the best careers out there. I mean, it provides you a life in the office, and you can also do a bunch of surgery. And you're not necessarily on call a bunch of times. Uh, so growing up playing sports, I hurt my feet and ankles a lot, um, playing baseball and especially soccer. So I was really in tune to how that was and um, saw some podiatrists throughout my life and thought it would be a good career and it turned out to be the best i absolutely love it well obviously you do yeah and you, you seem very passionate about it for sure absolutely and, and then people just follow you around total strangers <laughs> pulling their socks off going here yeah. okay there's a time and place uh any questions for dr brad before the exams begin i want to know what's the grossest thing he's seen here we go yes <laughs> uh i i answer that question a lot and it was on first se the first season episode one and a guy literally had nails almost like Guinness Book, the world of uh, you know, in the world record style Whoa. with and calluses no. and stuff. It was pretty. It was pretty rough. 
And that was the first patient that uh, my feet are killing me brought to me. And I, f I was like, man, if we're going to have seasons like this, this is going to go for a while because it was <laughs> it was heavy and intense. Damn. So, yeah, that one, because um, his nails were curling up. I mean, how did he get his it foot was in crazy. his shoe? He didn't probably. Uh, it was rough. Yeah. he. I think he had his same shoes on for a year or so. He had these boots. It was oh. nuts. Oh, my God. Wait, yeah, is something so. like that as simple as just clipping them off or it goes deeper than that? No, I mean, it, I think it went a lot deeper, uh, like just even to an emotional level to where you know, you had to really deal with just, you know, the external, but also the internal with patients. So, you know, we deal with a lot of that with the show. Um, wow. So, you know, you really dive into the patient's lives. Um, so I treat the external and then we try to get to why they're actually hurting internally, too. Well, wow. wow. I mean, a, my favorite quote from, uh, I think, the last season is you dealt with a large mass, a foot that looked like a big volcano bubbling over about ready to erupt. What? And you entered uncharted territory of podiatry with this particular <laughs> mount. Vesuvius. I, mean, I, I don't necessarily remember the mountain that we were treating right there, but there's, there's a lot of masses that happen on the feet, and you know they can be soft tissue, they can be lipomas, which is fat, um, you know, tumors that are hard, cancerous. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we treat. I don't exactly know that tumor, but we treat so many masses, it's ridiculous. So other than your <laughs> dashing, fantastic looks and your oh, thanks, sparkling Alex. personality, why are people watching this? Because it can be disgusting. Is that the draw, the disgusting factor? Or are they actually learning something about uh, foot health, feet yeah, health? I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's a transformation show. So when you're watching something like this and these people are coming in in pain, and they're leaving transformed and out of pain, and their lives are changed. Um, I mean, I think the show is just absolutely fantastic. It's it's fun. It's educational, and I think a lot of people are getting a lot of you know satisfaction out of it. You know, whether it can be that shock and awe factor, or whether that love and you know just amazing factor that this show brings, like Dr. Pimple Popper and shows like that. Yes. Are, are you uh, Sandra, uh, Dr. Sandra Lee friends? Yeah, I hit her up on Instagram the other day and right. uh, during our last season, I was like, yeah, you need to plug this uh, new episode because <laughs> we need some love <laughs> for season four. So, no, she's been great. Um, her show is very successful and yeah, if she's ever in New York City, I'd love to have a drink with her. <laughs> You guys should collaborate. Hello. A collaboration. Yeah. I smell a, a collaboration. On the foot. A foot pimple. Yes. Yeah, there's a crossover episode. Yeah. I have the, questions. The, the new Angel and Buffy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so we were having this debate the other day. Flip-flops in New York City. What are your thoughts about that? Because I thought people who did that were monsters. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I've written articles about this, and <gasps> that's a common thing that people ask. I mean, I rock flip-flops in the city mm -hmm. you know, quite often. I think they're fine. But look, I mean, they're going to be a little grimy at the end of the day. Blackfoot on the bottom. Yeah, it, like can, soot and tar. it can get pretty gross. <laughs> We well, not even about that. not only in the city, almost everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, it's going to be gross. Whether you're at the beach, you know, any place that you go to, you're going to have, you know, grime get up on, in there, sand. There's just extra special grime around here. Here, particularly, <laughs> that neon green stuff that we can't figure out what it is in the yeah. middle of the street. We're like, no, what, you don't what want that. that. I mean, when your toenails start forming. Uh, 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 pearls, yeah. Yeah. like an oyster. <laughs> they start to yeah. like it's just, melt it's, it's, in the Something's acid. wrong. <laughs> and then as yeah, far as gross. shoes go, what are good shoes and what are the worst shoes that you can wear? Because, I mean, we all wear high heels to stuff all the time. Yes, we do. Imagine that Elvis the <laughs> <Yes>. most. <laughs> Every uh, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So... <laughs> <laughs> so look, you can wear really anything you want in moderation. Um, you know, when I'm working or doing things, I like to wear a supportive shoe, you know, with inserts, they're orthotics, or, you know, you can wear inserts from over the counter like Dr. Scholl's. I mean, those are fantastic also. Um, but yeah, if you want to wear heels to work, maybe just don't walk to work in them, you know, walk in a sneaker. Then when you get to work, pull them out and, you know, rock them around the office. Hey, Dr. Brad, um, other than clipping our toenails, I mean, what regimen should we be following? What should we be doing with our feet on a weekly or daily or monthly basis? What upkeep should we always adhere to? I mean, as a podiatrist, we always say you must get your feet checked. Um, dentists say every six months, but we kind of say the same thing. It's it's good to just have a little checkup. We'll take care of things, look to see if you have any fungus, and then we take care of it early. Because a lot of people, a lot of, you know, 
women especially that go and get pedicures, you know, you can get a lot of fungus from that. Danielle. Mm -hmm. If if you go to a podiatrist, you're able to get that treated quick rather than just allowing it to fester. I mean, it can be little things like that to diabetics that always need to get checked out to make sure that we're on top of their health because diabetics have a lot of problems with their feet. Um, and also people that go on vacation, step on sea urchins. <laughs> there is that. Man, that was the worst. And he was so cool and calm about it because they sent yeah. him a picture like, hey, should I get this looked at? And he just wrote back, oh, yeah, you know what? You should uh, come in. I'm available from 9 to 1 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And get that taken out. I was like, oh, it must be be a thing I have to go. Well, plus, he's, the, okay. he's there for you. Yeah. Hey, uh, Frog, you have a question for Dr. Brad? Yeah, are there any good like over the counter things for like toe fungus and stuff like that? Because like you said, when you go to these, um, to, you know, to get pedicure, sometimes that happens. And I know my wife Lisa's had that, and I've had it myself with toe fungus. Are there any good over the counter treatments? Yeah, there are. They're they're not going to be as good as the stuff that we'll get for you in the office. But yeah, it can go. You know, just like I said, Doctor Scholes has great ones. Uh, there are good ones that you can get in a doctor's office, and then there's great ones that will prescribe for you. Um, but right. yeah, fungus is something that you just need to keep on top of. And if you keep on top of it, it's easy to treat. If you let it go for a while, it's very hard. What you gave me the other day for the fungus I had. Oh yeah, I hooked fabulous. you up with that. That yeah. was fabulous. Oh, oh, was really great. Yes. I've never heard anyone call fungus treatment fabulous. Your toes toenails get very thick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. yeah. Like, why does that happen? Why do your toenails get thicker as you age? I, I honestly don't know, straight up. Uh, it, it just happens as we age. It just depends what happens in our body, whether that's, you know, cardiovascular related, diabetes related, you know, it just does happen mm-hmm. when you get older, but it's easily treated if you, you know, you manage it. But Uncle Johnny and I, we're managing a few things, right, buddy? Fabulous. <laughs> it's it. fabulous. He, he really does. Fabulous. Yeah. It's just fabulous. fabulous. It's just everything you're managing, fabulous. Yeah. Hey. He's got me. That's I cool. walk down the fabulous. street and I look at people with toes. If they a lot get of people have them. Sandals and everything like this. I'm, in the summer, I just always do. I, I just always do. <laughs> you know, ever since I met Uncle John, he's always been a toe observer. Uh, yeah. Have you? Yep, yep, yes. Because one time, I, I sort of got into them. <laughs> <laughs> and one time, we, yes. we were in Las Vegas, and where were we someplace? I don't know. And, and I had somebody's foot in my mouth. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that was, no, that was not Las Vegas, show. but anyway. Oh, man. Well, where was that? It, it doesn't matter. We're not going to name everybody. names. We're not going to name names. No, no names. Because it's a co-worker. And oh, it, and it was you? It was on a ship. Oh, yeah. Oh anyway, so uh, lots of things are happening on the <laughs> ship. So moving on. I gotta go on the next moving cruise. on. Yes, yeah, scary. Yeah. So uh, yeah, what, scary. Are the, what are the telltale signs that you've let foot fungus fester for too long? I can't even say <laughs> that. that you oh, man. Friend? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Thick yellow darkening okay. of the nails. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna notice okay. that fungus and uh, that foot funk. That I think we, we all like we all pretty much know. We'd like to think we know what a normal foot looks like if it doesn't look normal then maybe you should seek you should seek help yeah i think i'm good there yeah are you asking for a friend but i might have a bunion and i don't know Uh well if if you want me to check it out i'll check it out you know look at the end of the day bunions are a bump on the side of the foot (gasps) you know just to really you know in layman's terms and if you see that bump coming out and then the toe going over kind of in that angle formation that's what you have you have a bunion and there's calluses that form on top of that what's the thing on top of your toe like say that's what i have going on (laughs) so it's not i don't think it's a bunion because it's on top of my big toe and it's like a bump a hard like a bone Mm -hmm. thing like at your joint yeah yeah, that might be a little arthritis um, mm. from possibly the wearing heels and things like that. What are you maybe, about? <laughs> maybe working working out a lot. You might have a little arthritis. It's called hallux limitus or rigidus. Oh, oh you're so Latin. Oh, I love when I have hallux or rigidus or muckus. Sounds like a uh, spell. <laughs> right, well, hey, so, if you're just turning us on, Dr. Bradley Schaefer's here uh, from the TLC hit series "My Feet Are Killing Me." And rolling into uh, season four, five is on the way. Five fingers crossed. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a fun, exciting show. So anyone that wants to check it out can go on Discovery Plus. But yeah, we're looking forward to filming some more music, please. All right, the <laughs> footstool has been erected. Oh my god! So the first to take oh off his man. sock is Nate. Uh, Nate. Nate, what's okay. The- What's okay, up, why do you have to talk in that register? Can you turn his microphone on, Scary? Uh-oh. So this toe right here, what is that? What is that thing there? It's hard. It hurts. 
Oh, that's just a callus. That's you're it? You're you being baby. a baby. You yes, being a baby. Dr. Bradley. That's a baby. Uh, you just got to shave it down a little bit. But Can the you reason, do it here? The reason oh. why I, I, I could have oh. had my blade. But oh. yeah, the reason oh. the reason it's doing that is because the toe's curling under and it's <gasps> pinching. Ah, so, so when it pinches, it creates that callus. Okay, so what do I do for it? I just shave well, it down? Come in, I'll shave it down. That's easy. Okay. You could ah. probably just go to you know, a pedicure place and get it taken care of. There you go. Right. That's just it. Sure I like his sterile. bedside manner. He called you a big baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting my coat pet. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like hand oh, sanitizer? Man, I, I lost the patient. <laughs> no, that's easy. That's just skin. Not All right. surprised. No big deal. All right, next foot on the uh, foot. Uh, oh, here comes oh, Scotty yeah, B. Scotty, 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 Scotty. Oh, man. man See, I like Scotty B's toes. Here. I've been a fan of his toes for many years. Here we go, Side Scotty B. Johnny, Gandhi. Okay. So, yep. we're getting a couple okay. more here. I had a hot tub incident a few years ago. Oh, no. Okay. All right. With Uncle Johnny? <laughs> yes. And it's you can't see it, but I feel like I have ligament damage here. I cannot get a foot massage because what? it hurts so bad if you touch it even right there. Touch so it. So, will it ever go away? Need x-rays. Like, yeah, right oh, right there. Make it hurt. It hurts. He's such a baby. I don't have any idea about that. You well, then what, about, what about this? Ha- well, what about this hammer toe? Unless, <laughs> well, yeah, you have a legit hammer toe there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I mean, I, some I, doctor, mean I have no idea. What Doctor Brad does not have toe. X. You don't have X-ray vision. So <laughs> can, we, can we straighten that out? Yeah, I can straighten that yeah, out pretty okay. easy. Let me get a hammer. But I mean, whatever <laughs> happened you in the hot tub? You know, maybe you popped a tendon or something. Yeah, that's you know, it. That could have happened. But and it'll never go away, will it? You know, unless I knew exactly what happened. We would have to get further tests. Dude, okay. to, Knowing Scotty, he has video. <laughs> I probably do. <laughs> uh-huh. Scotty. Foggy, but I have it. All right. Oh, no, man. At least you didn't call no. him a big baby. I just like to apologize. I haven't, oh, I haven't clipped my toenails since oh. before vacation. Oh, 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 but, wait, but no, the problem is not the toenail. I just want to know, what is this curvature going on here? Because every time I'm walking down the sidewalk, all of a sudden, I start taking steps to the right. I start leaning right. As I'm walking and I bump into people, yeah. and because it looks like my I'm taking steps this way. What is this thing? Well, my man, you you have a bunion. <laughs> no. Yes. So it's easy. We <laughs> this thing. Listen, what we would do is uh, we could put some inserts in the shoes to stabilize oh, it, but yeah. I, I think ultimately. Oh, look at those toenails. You, I told you I warned you. Yeah, are you, you tr- might need a surgery to fix that. No. Yeah, and are you are you growing them so long you can perch? But it doesn't. <laughs> We're not talking about the toenails. We're talking about the bunion. This is the this is a problem, right? Well, bunion it's a, surgery. It's a is, problem. But if it's not overly hurting you, if it's not bothering you cosmetically, well, then just let it go. Dr. Just Brad, walk in, Dr. Dr. Brad, he's walking into people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said he's falling over in the street. But it's not overlapping the other toe not to that yet, right. extreme. Yet. That would be the next step. But, you know, at the end oh, of the I day, you that. can even see when you stand, it goes <laughs> off to the side. Yeah, so, see that? Yeah, you're going right, to right. need some help. So you, can you just break the bones, or what do you do? You start you over? You work with insoles. you got to get some insoles in I there. do. I work with Dr. Yeah, Scholes. That's my perfect. Client. I thought. Okay. All right, yeah. That, there you that's, go. That's the team right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, back to Froggy uh, real quick. Then we've yeah. got we've got to uh, poor Dr. Just keep an eye on Scary. No, that's cool. What's that? What? On my right foot, my pinky toe on my right foot, my far right. Hold it up toe to the camera. Is, <laughs> is sitting on top of my left toe. Is sitting on top of my Hold other toe. What is, is it? Because Hold on, here his you foot's go. like throwing up gang signs. Oh, oh, like yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What do you see? What do you see? What is that? Yeah, that's there, common. There. Oh, he's trying to tell you now. Go ahead. Now that's okay. common. So, oh. the only way to fix that though is to release the extensor tendon on the top of that toe to drop it down so it's flat with the other. And this with pliers. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's with a that's with a fifteen blade and some uh, and some suture material. <laughs> but yeah, but that would necessary. require a surgery. It's not necessary unless it's bothering okay. you. You're probably going to get pain on the bottom of your foot where uh, the fifth met is, and that's where the ball of the foot would be. There you go. Yes, I have that. I do have that actually. It hey, also, you do. It also sucks. You're a Bucks fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> Dr. Brad. Tom Brady is my Got quarterback. It. That doesn't suck. Come on. There you go. Dr. Bradley. <laughs> more Eagles fans very like there. a Jets fan. Yay, Dr. Brad. No bedside <laughs> manner. <laughs> okay. So yesterday there was a roller skating party. And I tapped out of the roller skating party because you recently removed a sea urchin from my foot. Yes, I did. They were telling me I was being dramatic and I should have just sucked it up and gone roller skating. What are your thoughts on that? You were not because sea urchin spikes have venom in them. And if they're not removed, it can cause infection and it can be a legit problem. You know, you did have one. You didn't have many. Some people, you know, can actually have like 90 in there. Oh, yes, damn. I got yeah, very lucky. Because it can, it can be awful. Right. Um, but yeah, you got lucky. You had one. Uh, 
you know, we didn't have to numb it up or anything. Nope. So we were able to get it out pretty easy. It was pretty good. He yeah. said, we're going to go in with one blade. And if I have to go in with the second one, maybe we'll numb you. And then he busted out the second one. I was like, oh, wait, are we, what are we doing right now? I was, I was stressed, too, because if I was going to come on the show and I failed, yeah. I, I would have I looked like a complete dope. While right. we were doing it, though, he said, I think there are some remnants of other ones still in here. I said, just get them all. I don't care what it has to do. Just chop those things it was, out. It yeah. was just dirt from the city. Okay. All right. Well, so, <laughs> look, you know, I, I'm so, and I'm not going to pull my sock off and have you look, but I will admit, I, I must confess Dr. Brad, yes. I do have a foot issue. Okay. It's kind of gross, but it's not uncommon. On the bottom of my left foot, sometimes I think the sweat ducts get clogged, therefore forming a hard little thing on the outside. Like, what is it? It's... Well, that could, that could definitely appear like a callus, but yeah, the sweat glands do get clogged, and it happens a ton. So it, I would go in, and they would have to shave them down. Yes. The thing is, if I don't do it enough, I walk. For years, I've been walking kind of lightly on the left foot, mm -hmm. and therefore, my calves are different sizes now. No are you serious? Way. So what? when I go to put on cowboy boots, for instance, or any boot that goes up to the knee, because I'm, you know, I'm a horse rider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some, sometimes the right boot will fit, but not the left one, because I've been walking differently on it for so many years. I am very uneven when it comes to my... Oh, but so they're like little pieces of... It looks like almost plastic at the bottom of your foot, where it like forms in, in the bottom. Yeah, like, like little callus. bubbles. Yeah, and right. they, so they have to get cut out every once yeah. in a while. They do have to get shaved down, but you can treat that uh, with some ointment. Ointment? Yeah, you can put ointment on it, and it'll stop the sweat glands from clogging. Huh. Do you have any on you? Get that no, I don't have any on me, but I could hook you up with it. Do you have any sweat gland ointment on you? <laughs> <laughs> man, you I'll that? tell you what, man. That would be the day that I just carry that around. You should. You should have all, be, you should have all of your... I'd be struggling walking around the city. All of your that. elixirs. Look, <laughs> we're so excited yeah. you came to see us. I'm excited, too. And, and thank you for allowing them to put their feet up on the footstool. No, it was easy. And my feet are killing me on TLC. Let's make it number one. Yeah! Number one. Yeah. And also, uh, if you want, and if I want to watch any of the first three series, or th three uh, s seasons, where do I go? Four. Where do I go? So you can watch the first four seasons on Discovery Plus, um, and then, yeah, fingers crossed for season five, and it's a fun, exciting show, so it's educational, and you know we're really doing a lot of good out there, so I appreciate all the love. And let's not forget, he's actually a doctor. That was the part that I was like, oh, yeah, he has a whole uh, a doctor's Wait, office that I really can go. You're not acting like a doctor? No, I'm not an actor. <laughs> you don't just play one on TV? No. <laughs> Soul podiatry. <laughs> yes, th thanks, Gandhi. You're welcome. Yeah, so I have a practice. Uh, I've, been, I've been open a full year now, so I'm super humbled and excited. Yeah, Soul Podiatry NYC. It's on 85th and Central Park West. So It's beautiful. Thanks a lot. It is gorgeous. Really nice, yeah. yeah. It is. By the way, that rent's thanks high, too, man. <laughs> That's what being on TLC does. There's a lot of money in feet. But uh, beyond that, you, you do actually care. You could definitely tell that you really care about the people you're talking to, Thank even you. though you insult them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, fo they're football teams and acting like big babies. Yeah, you know, at the end, at the, end of the day, uh, I just try to be real. You know, I sit and talk with you like you're my friend, and I do that with patients in my chair. And I do that with Uncle Johnny. You know, I saw him last year in Fire Island. He had a great... You know, thing going on for his retirement. That was a yeah, that was a fun party. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I try to you invest. I try to invest in my patients and learn about them. And hopefully, when you show that sympathy and empathy, it comes back. And you know, that's try, what I try to do. That picture you put up last uh, last week on uh, line that was that was fabulous. On Instagram, it's yeah. fabulous. Absolutely. It's fabulous. fabulous. Yeah, yeah, fabulous. Dude, fabulous. If I had a dime for every time Uncle Johnny said fabulous, I'd have like forty five dollars, <laughs> yeah. which is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Brad, Doctor Bradley Schaefer, thank you for coming to see us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. By the way, that's the sound of feet clapping. <laughs> You have, a, you have an open uh, open seat at the table anytime you want, Dr. Hey, Brad. I'm, I'm here. I'm All not right. too far away. So. And there you go. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.